Hey, coffee nerds. I'm Brody. This is the Wukako Nano Presso. This is the Wukako Pico Presso. And this is a showdown. So now that we've kind of set the stage here, um, as some of you may know, I've been working with uh, Wukako on a few different projects, content projects, a bit of consulting over the last few years. And this year in particular, we have been working on a big campaign to launch the Pico Presso. I thought this would be a great opportunity to show you sort of the ins and outs of both brewers and especially since the Pico is still in the pre-order phase, I'll leave a little link down in the description to that. Uh, we literally have no time to waste. So let's get right into it. So first I'm gonna be breaking down the individual parts of each brewer uh, and some of the extensions that's gonna go with the Nano. I'll get into that in a second. Some of the specs, uh, you know, the boring stuff. And then I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side brew with these two brewers in these beautiful little glasses so you can see all the nitty gritty details of the espresso. And then at the very end, I'm gonna give some of my honest feedback and how they might fit your specific criteria. And so of course, this should sort of go without saying, but <laughs> I've been working with Bukako and uh, I'm not really a huge fan of reviews so much, but I do like giving overviews and getting, giving people a sense of what to expect. It really is an overview of these two brewers and of course, coming from my biased perspective. So now that we've gotten that out of the way, let's talk about price. And so if we look at the Nano Presso, it goes for around $69.90 USD on their website. But let's loop in some of these extras here with the Nano Presso to kind of give you a little bit more perspective. Because the barista kit here, uh, which is an extension kit, I'll explain all of that. And this carrying case, uh, the, the, the barista kit goes for $32.90. And the case itself comes in several different sizes, but it goes for $19.90. So if you add all of that up, it actually comes to over $120 uh, USD. So let's put that aside for a second, but I will come back to it. Now this, the Pico, the pre-order price is currently at $99.90 USD. So if you, if you were to compare both of these on, on pricing alone, uh, this one actually currently wins. It will go up in price eventually. But if you take into account that this does include the carrying case and it also there are some other specs that are comparable to the barista kit, well, you can decide on your own, but that is what we're gonna get into. Just taking these two into account. I mean, I'm not gonna <laughs> get too nitty gritty on the little details here, but we can literally weigh the the pico here everything all said and done and i'll break it down what's inside here it's around 470 grams um if that's helpful now this is around 360 but if you include some of this stuff it's probably going to be around the same the same weight but you know they're both fairly light let's say um now in terms of size you can you can just see uh, of course if i do put the barista kit stuff on here this will be longer so in the end, this ends up being smaller, as you can see, um, but it doesn't come with its own cup, whereas the Nano uh, comes integrated with a cup. Actually, it's not even this part, more like this part right here. So that is uh, another thing to keep in mind, but they are, they are comparable in size. But I think what's more interesting here is actually the size of the coffee that you can put inside. So we're gonna just open this up really quick to show you the original Nano out of the box, no barista kit. This is actually an eight gram basket. I don't know the diameter. It's not really that important in this case, um, but it is an eight gram basket. Now um, this Pico Presso does have an 18 gram basket. So that's more than double. Um, so you can fit a lot more coffee in there. So that, that we'll get into that in a second, but that is uh, some size happening. Of course, on the barista kit, extension, we do have these bigger baskets and these are closer to 12 gram baskets. Uh, there are 12 gram baskets, but the point is you can make 12 grams of espresso uh, with the barista kit extension. But let's get into a few more practical elements and talk about the materials, okay? So the material here of the Nano Presso, some of the materials are, are similar. It, this one contains a lot of plastic. Um, and there's some good reasons for that. But um, as you can see there, there's a metal screen in here. This is the, this is the shower head essentially. So this is mostly plastic, okay? Now this has some different components to it. So it has some, some metal pieces right here on the basket. 
and the I mean the basket itself is a full-on 52 millimeter uh, metal basket with a flat bottom. So that's great. The shower head itself is also metal, but the rest um, is is mostly plastic. And there are a few reasons for that. I know some people would have maybe liked to see a little bit more metal parts, but in uh, in my experience, this thing does get very hot, especially when you preheat it, which is a which is a big part of, of brewing with the pico presso. And so there's a few reasons for, in my opinion, why plastic actually works better in this case. One, it's lighter, so that's nice. There's a few metal pieces, but it, it is lighter. Secondly, it's cheaper, so it actually makes it more affordable for, for us to, to buy and, and brew great espresso. And thirdly, that thermal capacity or that, that tendency of, um, of metal to, to heat up, all right? So this does get very hot to the touch, and I would be afraid that if it was even more metal components in here, um, it might be too hot to hold while you're actually pressing it. That's obviously a big difference between uh, a commercial or even a home espresso machine. They get very hot, but we're not holding the whole machine in our hands when we're brewing. So as I mentioned, this Nano kind of just comes as is, but you can order this barista kit, which allows you to get some extension on this. So I'm gonna open this up I'm not gonna go into the case, it's pretty straightforward, but uh, let's open the Nano up and then I'll open the Pico up and we'll, we'll compare what we have here. So uh, nozzle, let's call it. Eight gram basket, put the uh, 12 gram basket in here. We've got a cup that's included. This is for putting water on the top. So we've got all of these components, plus we've got a tamper. So this tamper comes in handy just to give it a little bit more compactness. We've got this, a few more baskets, and then we've even got like a bigger, cup here and a bigger basically container for the hot water and then we've got this little piece but actually this is a crucial part so you have to actually unscrew this put it on here and this is going to allow you to use the 12 gram basket so that is the nanopresso with the breeze the kit extension also one thing i forgot is this also comes with a little scoop but as I never use it, I usually use the scale or I just use this to measure. I can't find it right now. Same with this. I can't find the scoop, but I will say that I never use it. So the, what's really great about this, this brewer is it really allows you to refine your barista skills and your espresso skills at home. So I'll get into that in a second. This is the, the shower screen or the shower head, which comes right out. This is the basket, 52 mil. Millimeter, as I mentioned, uh, this is a nice little cover on the bottom that comes in handy. And then there's this cool little nozzle which pops out. And this is the porta filter here in that case. We're not done. So the top is here's the here's the cap. And then we've got a few little things in here which really do actually come in handy. So this is what they call the funnel. And I'll show you how that works in a second. This is the tamper, as you can see what they call ergonomic, because you don't have to worry about twisting your elbow or, or making sure it's all lined up. It is very flat, okay? So there's some metal here, there's some plastic, very hard plastic here. So it's almost like metal in my opinion. And then there's these two little pieces. Um, so this is a distributor tool. Um, normally they come with three prongs, but the one prong, it's much easier to, to fit inside the Spico Presso. And then a brush, which is great for cleaning your grinder and, and stuff like that. This actually comes a little bit more compact in that sense. This is the barista kit, so obviously there's more pieces. And then one thing that I will mention again, this comes with the carrying case in it. So the price includes the carrying case, whereas this doesn't come with the carrying case uh, by default. But, so now this is the ultimate test. This is probably what you're here for, and that is the brew itself. So what what is the difference between the Nano and the Pico in terms of the results, in terms of the coffee that you're getting. And is it worth your while? Is it worth your time? Is it worth your money? Let's get right into it. All right, so we've got our handy scale here. I'm gonna grab my grinder. So you're gonna be hopefully using a fresh coffee, uh, a slightly, slightly darker roast. I'm not gonna say dark roast, but a lighter roast depends on your preference, really. So this is a slightly darker roast, but by no means an oily dark roast. Um, and then the type of water you're using too, this should go without saying, but water uh, is obviously very important for coffee brewing, but especially here in the, in the case of the Pico, even more than the, than the Nano, 
is the quality of the water will affect the way the extraction looks as well as tastes. So you will get like a little bit nicer crema um, from a higher quality or more filtered water. But that's, that's the basics here. So I am going to dial this in for the Nano, which is slightly coarser. So I have to adjust my grinder here by a few steps to the, to the coarse side. So as you can sort of see here, this fits 12 grams really well. And then we are gonna use our little tamper here. So yeah, let's, let's see if this is the, the right grind size. You know, I, might, I might be off a little bit and that is all part of uh, brewing is testing out the grind size. But what we're looking for is the fact that it actually comes through in the cup. So let's, uh, let's preheat here. You have to fill up the chamber once and then I'm just gonna spray this into the sink. Now that that messy part is taken care of, before I get into that, I wanna actually prime this. Let's get rid of the water in here. Same as last time. All right, that is, that is hot. Now I'm gonna show you exactly how to use the tamper in the funnel. So we're gonna put that on there. Should be around 18 grams, shouldn't have changed too much, but we're just gonna double check. 18 on the dot, uh, let's put that aside. And now we're going to tamp it out. And so some of this comes to comes down to, I think a little bit of superstition, but what I like to do is make sure it's well distributed. This part is scientific fact that it helps reduce channeling. You may have seen some with three prongs for normal espresso machines, um, but what's nice about this one prong is that it fits inside the whole kit. So that's why it's so small. So that looks good right there. And it's super easy. All you gotta do is put that on top, press. Not too much pressure um, because the funnel actually stops it. So we're going to, what I like to do is just press it down a few times, make sure it's all even. And then there you go, it's super easy. Now we just put the shower head right on top. And since this is all preheated, ready to go, we are going to attach it here. And let's get some boiling water in both of these containers or chambers or however you want to call them. Um, there's the Nano. There's some nice notches here to show you where it fills to. I think it's around 60 mils. Um, you can fill it up a little bit more, but what happens is when you put this on, you run the risk of it spilling over. But those notches seem to work for me. We've got the, the Pico ready to go, the Nano, which we're gonna have to flip over and we're gonna pour them right into these beautiful cups. All right, so check this out. This is on the fly. We're gonna start with the Pico here. And what I like to do is six, seven, eight, <laughs> around eight pumps for the pre-infusion. You can actually just leave it sitting right there on the cup. Uh, and then you'll start to see it drip down as well. So let's keep pumping here. And what's important is to keep it level but also to keep it very even in the pumping action. You can see it start to drip through now. Might slow down a little bit if I feel a little bit too much pressure. And that can be for a number of reasons. Maybe this coffee was ground a little bit too fine. Of course, it will change throughout the roasting and resting period, but this is actually coming out really nice. And again, if you find it a little bit too much to coordinate with the naked filter, you can pop on this little nozzle here and that will help just make a nice stream. And then this, as I mentioned earlier, really comes in handy for this part. So let's put that aside. Let's put this on this side and let's get the Nano on here. All right, so here is the Nano. And again, this is only 12, grams and it is pumping quite a bit easier on the pre-infusion. I might do like eight pumps again for the pre-infusion here, but let's, uh, let's keep pumping here. So you hear a little pop, that is it going through the valve. All right, so now I'm really not pumping too hard. It seems like it was a good size of the grind actually, all things considered. As you can see, it's getting a little, let's say blonde as we can call it, but look at that crema. That is incredible on the side. Um, and that just goes to show how this valve, I think I, I didn't mention earlier, this, this valve or the shower head in here 
it simulates crema, all right? So that's the main difference between the Pico Presso, which is just pure, authentic espresso crema, and then the other one, which is a little bit more simulated. And let me just show you the, show you the top here. So as you can see, the simulated crema versus the Pico Tiger Straping. Nice crema here on the top. That is if crema is important to you. So as some of you may know, crema isn't everything, but it does add to the experience and it's a nice texture. Um, so you can see the difference between these two. Again, it comes down to the type of water you're using, how dark the roast is. I have gotten way more crema on this if I use a really, really fresh coffee and also just a really well filtered water. This is just my, my default water, Brita today. So, but still very nice. Let's do a quick uh, taste test and I'll describe what the main differences are. Let's start with the Nano here. Yeah, so this one is, is nice. It's got some nice texture to it. This is not such a dark roast, so it does have a lot of acidity as well. I might even want to try going a little bit finer on the grind to get some, some more extraction out of that. Now this one, well, what's much smoother. And uh, if you like a light roast espresso, then you will really like this. This is, it's got a nice creamy body to it. The, the foam, the crema on top, it's just more authentic. You can just, you can just taste it. You can, I guess, a sort of a finer texture on the tongue. This one is a little bit more coarse, so it really depends on what kind of crema you like to enjoy as well. Uh, but this one is a creamier body. It's got a nice sort of mouthfeel to it and nice aftertaste. Still acidic. Um, I might go a little bit finer or you could even add a little bit more coffee to the basket itself. There is a little bit of play there. So considering both of those, that is the back-to-back -back brew of the Nano versus the Pico. So the verdict here between these two, let's talk about price first. As I mentioned, this, if you were to bulk it up to the comparison of this, this is actually uh, more expensive than the pre-sale price. So again, link in the description if you want to get in on that while it still exists. Maybe you're watching this video later and it doesn't, but price, this one is actually cheaper if you take all, all things considered. This is cheaper as the base model, but you have to do that comparison. Now the size, okay, so this is something we talked about. This is a little bit longer. So if you wanted something a little bit more compact, you have this, but it doesn't come with the cup, this one does. So in terms of the parts themselves. This one has a little bit more plastic. This one has a little bit more metal. Uh, I like the tamper that's included in this thing and also the distributor and the basket itself. It's a 52 millimeter basket. I think that's perfect. 18 rams, it's a perfect shot. Uh, no complaints there. As I just described, I prefer the Pico Presso, but again, it just depends on your preference and how you know, how much work you want to put into it. This is a comparable uh, amount of work going into making both of these coffees. So I would say if you are interested in learning more and applying different variables and different parameters and really dialing in your espresso and learning how to be a barista at home, well, this, this just seems like an obvious choice. Uh, there's just a little bit more play that you can get out of it. And in my opinion, a nicer mouthfeel. So there you have it, the Nano Presso versus the Pico Presso, the tried and true versus the, the new kid on the block. And in my honest opinion, I would say pound for pound, the Pico Presso wins. Uh, it's just, you know, com the comparable price at the pre-order uh, price, all the gadgets are included, and it allows you to really refine your, your barista skills at home if that's what you're looking for. So which one would you choose? I would love to hear it in the comments. If you don't have either of these, leave it down in the comments and why, why would you choose one over the other, what, what attracts you to both of those things. But before you go, as you may have noticed, I've got some new threads. This is the Coffee Nerd t-shirt. This is a prototype and I'd love to see it on you. This was brought to me by some very good friends of mine here in Barcelona, Living After Coffee. They are a coffee apparel company. And so this is the, the new black uh, Coffee Nerd t-shirt. So if you wanna get in on the pre-orders for this, a lot of pre-orders today, there is a link down in the description. You'll see it, Living After Coffee, Coffee Nerd t-shirt. Go click that. You can, you can pick up your own uh, when we do launch. And we're gonna be doing a giveaway for one of these t-shirts as well, but that's over on my Instagram. So if you, if you haven't visited, uh, it is Brody Vissers. So go on over, maybe give me a follow so that you can stay in touch and stay tuned for when we're gonna be doing the giveaway 
of the Coffee Nerd t-shirt if that is something you're interested in. But Coffee Nerds, that is it for today. Enjoy yourself a nice coffee at home or on the go, and I will see you next time. Mm. Cheers. That's a lot of coffee.